And here we go, the 2023 Big East Women's Basketball Tournament title game is underway. And Lopez Senesaw gets us started with a baseline jumper. Model of consistency for this Huskies team, and you see it right there out of the gates. First play for her. 14 points in both of the opening round games for UConn. And Dalsey. Dalsey's two for two. with the left hand. That's an excellent take by Mule. Coming off her second double-double of the season at 10 points, 11 assists. And win against Marquette in the semifinal. Olsen with a step back. Lucy Olsen's doing that early on. Great backdoor cut. Lopez Seneschal found by the six foot five transfer. There is the most improved player in the Big East to Leah Edwards. Gives it up to Uhas for three. He has a four-point lead, and Villanova has struggled so much offensively. No points yet for Segris, and she changes that out of the timeout. On cue, Matt. A, a nice inbound pass there. Lopez Seneschal had a charm loose. Runyon on the floor. Olsen to Dalsey, who has six early points for the Wildcats. She's one of just happens. very few players for UConn this year that hasn't missed time due to injury as Edwards rolls right to the cup. Yuha stepping through, counted in the foul. And returned yesterday. Finally, the first three of the game for Villanova, and it's Caitlin Oriole. for the Wildcats. And another offensive rebound from Olbreeze that time. Olsen finally pays one off. The first two second chance points of the night for Villanova. Tough half last night against Creighton. She's one for eight to start the game tonight. As Ducharme puts in a deep two. Excellent job on that position. Segrist over the double team. How about the hook shot? For this Huskies team. Had seven points in the first seven minutes. Edwards just too easy off the bump. Last meeting, they're plus four so far in the game. How about Edwards? Game season, but also there is such a appreciation for the resiliency. How about the resilience of Matty Segrish? Can't even see the pass coming. Good post feed inside the Uhas. What? Meanwhile, we received one of the Caroline Ducharme is on the bench floor because she could start pouring in buckets at any moment. Down to Edwards, who has been a bucket in this tournament. A 15-second differential between game and shot clock here. Backdoor cut. Lopez Seneschal lays it in. Five to shoot. Mullen with three. Puts it in. What a tough shot at the end of the shot clock to end the drought. That gave Creighton an intentional foul. Two shots at the free throw line and the basketball back as Juhas steps through right to the basket. Dowsey set back by Juhas. Up ahead, Lopez Seneschal. They're second in the nation with fewest turnovers, 8.8 .8 per game, and they already have seven. Mule, tough take. Post defense isn't just about post players. It's about rim protection, too. Maddie Segrist on the board in the second half. Can she get hot in this final half? Juhas off the shuffle from Fudd. And now Villanova just two of 15 from distance. Mule, the lob, Edwards pays it off. Timeout, Villanova. They have outscored Villanova 10 to two in the paint in this quarter. Five to three. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Another rebound on a double-double effort night for Edwards. Fun in transition, buries a three. There. 
real resiliency they showed a lot throughout the course of the season. But when you come to UConn, there's an expectation. 14-0 run. This is the, the now 10th ranked team in the country, the Wildcats are. Segrist makes another tough shot. She's up to 13. And Matt, you said this earlier in the championship game of the Big East tournament last year. UConn held Maddie Segrist to 16 points, one rebound. That could be deflating for a team when you're not making shots and then you're not getting shot stops. That was a bucket that has been so needed. Rebound Dalsey. Edwards down behind the play, so is Fudd. Major numbers for the Cats. Mullen pays it off. Fudd. Get a three from downtown. Nika Mule has done an excellent job at understanding who and when to get the ball to. Eight assists in the game for Mule. The season, considering what they've endured, I mean, think about it. February, 10 straight games decided by 10 points or less. Yeah. Five seconds on the timer here for Fudd. Fudd with a hand in her face. Talent, obviously, that she possesses and how the game changes when she's able to play the way that we have seen her throughout the course of her career. Olsen, that's a three. As an old, very likely this team could wind up a two seed because of some of the other losses that we saw around the country in conference tournaments in the Pac-12 and in the SEC as Aaliyah Edwards continues. Segrist the fadeaway, puts it down. And now just one point away from a 34-game streak of 20 points or more. Jones to Segrist. And there it is. And one. And the 20-point streak continues. Tonight, and all tournament long. UConn has done it again. The three-peat. Complete since returning to the Big East Conference. Decided by single digits. Not a single game in this conference tournament decided by single digits.